I'm Chris Stefanik here with Pat Lencioni, and here's your three-minute reset. I want to talk about how strategy takes courage. And the reason that is, is that strategy requires that you have a plan that you lean into and execute. And what might happen when you do that? Failure. And that's why it takes courage. Courage doesn't require an absence of fear, but being okay with outcomes that you don't necessarily love (laughs) and the pain that comes with those outcomes. Jesus and his apostles had strategies. And one of the places, Pat, where I pray for you and and your business, because you help people with strategy, lead pilgrimages to the Holy Land. And I love seeing the place where Jesus met his apostles at Peter's mother-in-law's house. And I love thinking of them powwowing there and coming up with their strategies. They would meet there after they did their ministry all day. Then they'd go out and execute. And by every worldly standard, they, quote, failed. I mean, Jesus was killed, but it was the ultimate victory. Yeah, and you know, he, even he prepared them for the fact that sometimes things weren't going to work. He said, go into that town and and preach the gospel to them. And if they reject you, that's okay. Shake the dust off your feet and move on. And so our strategies never work all the time. And if we go into things and say, I'm only going to execute that strategy if I know it's going to work, then we will never do anything bold. And you know, one of the things, Chris, in the world of business that I try to explain to leaders is that we tend to think that strategy, being strategic, is an intellectual thing. It's about being clever. Hmm. But really, it's probably 10% clever and 90% courage. Hmm. It's just having the courage to be bold and to know that you may fail, or even before you succeed, people are going to laugh at you. And they're going to say, that's ridiculous that you're trying that. And the best businesses, the best families, the best individuals, the best churches do things that other people will certainly laugh at them about before it takes effect. And, and, and for many people, saints and people that live saintly lives, they may die before people stop laughing at them. And it's only later that people realize the profundity of what they do. And so mm-hmm. to, have, to be strategic requires a level of courage that many people are just not ready for. And that courage means you got to let go of outcomes. Uh, Ignatius of Loyola said that to discern things properly, to know what God wants from your life, you have to have a total detachment from outcomes, have a holy indifference about what's going to happen as a result of what I'm doing. And he would even pray radically like, Lord, help me let go of even caring about the length of my life or how I'll die. Wow. To, to have that kind of freedom of spirit, though, it's not that you don't care about outcomes, but you're detached, and then you could just run into whatever battle God calls you to. So, yeah, let's prayer. pray. God, help us to be strategic and courageous, but to know that what we're doing is your will, not ours. Help us to release outcomes, release even our own desires, so that we can be the disciples, the apostles that you want us to be. Amen. Amen.